Let's talk about that call now. The second in two days on the fintechs, the payment names. I think the most notable today, guys, is if this is all from Stevens, by the way, uh, is Block, the former Square. Initiated overweight, like PayPal's equal weight, FinServe's equal weight, but Square, Block, uh, the target's 170. That's 34% upside from here. Joe T, you sold it in the Joe T uh, in October, along with PayPal, right? Sold both of them. Sold uh, PayPal at 230, sold Square at 250. They were in Joe T. Uh, they began to lose momentum significantly. And from a quality fundamental perspective, there as well, use or deterioration. I'm sorry I disagree with this call. I don't see in anything uh, that would give me an indication that that's going to begin to reverse itself. I'm not sure what the fundamental catalyst ultimately is for Block or for PayPal, other than just looking at the chart and seeing it uh, looking pretty ugly towards the bottom. I mean, PayPal, they initiate, as I said, at equal weight. The target's 135. That's 20% upside from here. Mm. You, you want to make the bullish case to Joe Surratt? You own PayPal. I, I do. I, I, I mean, firstly, Joe, good call selling it at 230. I mean, the stocks were, were, have come down quite a bit. Uh, PayPal, I think there are two catalysts coming forward. I mean, they're in the penalty box, three quarters of, of missing. But here are a couple of things to watch for. One is comps. Um, it was pull forward demand because of COVID uh, in the last few quarters. People were doing a lot more online ordering. Now they're going out. So once we kind of pass that, that's going to show some acceleration of growth. And PayPal admitted themselves. They spent a lot of money on growth and they went after a customer base that really didn't come to any fruition. So I think you're going to have that also with management much more focused. And management knows this is the you know third quarter in a row, three strikes and one more. Uh, there are going to be some changes there. So Dan Schulman's got his... Uh, it's got his work cut out for him. And I think at these uh, valuations, PayPal's still there. It, it's an eminent player. Uh, I think there's some upside, but it's a show me story completely are you at, at this point. Are you adding in the ugliness? Yeah, if I have cash and new clients, uh, it's definitely something I'm adding to. It's a core position, yeah. Okay. Steve Weiss, it's no position for you. Why? Well, you know, it. look, PayPal, I mean, Jenny had a great call on this as well. I mean, she kept saying, maybe I'll look when it gets to 150 and then got to 140. And that was when the stock was a lot higher. My point is these stocks can still go lower. I just don't view them as cheap. Mm -hmm. I view that the landscape there is extremely competitive and it's getting more competitive still if you look at the private company pipeline. So I just don't see any rush. Again, I'd rather miss the first 10 percent or even 20 percent up in some of these names and catch a falling knife. So I'm not, I'm not anxious okay. to go in there at all. Jenny, I need it to be quick. Fiserv is, is the name you like. I mean, that's another Cooperman name, by the way. Um, you prefer that over these. Right. So it goes back to valuation. So I think this is an exact highlight of what I mentioned before, where it's not about the stories, it's about the valuation. So for us, we own Western Union and Fiserv. Both of those are trading at rational valuations. I think it's fascinating to see that in the face of this really positive upgrade, you have the two that were upgraded, PayPal and Square, down 8 and 5%. You've got the two that are at rational valuations, Western Union and Fiserv, flat and up on the day. So it's about the valuation. The stories are less important right now.